Advisory Committee meeting for August 7th, uh, 2013. And to begin with, um, Joel, would you lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to, to the Republic for which, which it stands, one, one nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Okay. Um, I think, I believe all I the mics alive. are on. Okay. Okay. Um, next, um, I would like to make note of uh, the fact that uh, uh, we have two uh, absences that are both excused. Uh, Amelie and uh, Curtis are not with us this morning, uh, but they are um, uh, excused for other, other requirements. Um, and are we good? Okay. Um, and then next, I would like to uh, just uh, note the minutes from last month. Um, are there any any changes that would be made to the uh, previous minutes? I'll make a motion. We approve. Okay. It's second. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And so noted. So the minutes from last month. Uh, are to be um, filed for record. Audience participation. So uh, we have a, a couple groups here. Um, would you like to uh, introduce yourselves and uh, state your business? Beth Mitchell, Alpha Phi Delta Sorority. It does matter. I mean, just come on up to the microphone and just uh, give your name and and, um, and the organization. I'm uh, with uh, um, I'm Anthony Aversa. I'm with the Indian River Civic Association. All right. And um, do you want me to state the purpose? I'm here. Oh sure. Yeah. No. Okay. Welcome. Well. I can't believe it's a, almost a year already, but uh, we run a golf tournament called Hackers for Vets. And last year, we came to you to allow us to run our tee signs, uh, these signs from the community along the road leading to Memorial Island for Veterans Day, so that everybody could see the support that the town gives their veterans. And I'm wondering if we can do it again this year. When, just give us some background on the, on the on, is it the golf tournament that you host um, to right. raise funds for veterans? Right. Can you we, explain we, a little bit? We support the two halfway homes for the homeless uh, vets, and uh, we bring them food, weekly clothes, and uh, furniture when they need it. And uh, last year I came before you, I think it was, uh, we have the uh, golf tournament the last Monday in October. And uh, we came, I came late last year because I didn't know where to go. It was the first time we had the tournament. And uh, you gave us permission to line the road, not the circle in front of the island. We now know all the rules. To line the road with these uh, posters honoring the vets. And we'd like to do the same thing. We, we put them up. We take them down. Nobody has to do anything. Okay. Um, and so this is this basically... Um, you're getting ahead of the ball game is what you're doing for Veterans Day, right? Right. right? Okay. I'm just like I just want to come in front of you, so okay. I know okay. that we are allowed to do it, and we can right. go ahead and put our advertising. One of the things that comes to mind: we're we're just a, an advisory board for the city, but uh, and we adv advise them on the circle and the island. I don't know if we really, ha I mean, we can maybe recommended or whatever, but as far as authorizing you to put them on a city street somewhere else, I don't know that we can really do that. Can, can I think w the, my understanding, um, uh, Anthony, is that um, because it's not on the island, it's good that you came to the advisory committee and just let us know that you were interested in doing this again. Right. And um, I would just uh, um, let you know that I would follow the same guidelines as last year, okay, because that seemed to be 
uh, supportable by the by the city, city right. and and make sure you don't don't um, deviate from that. Be there early, uh, right. put the signs there, and then remove them immediately as as following that. Yeah. We, my guys stay there through the whole ceremony. Okay, and then as soon as everybody clears, oh. they pick up the signs and it's cleared. That that and way, you, uh, it, it's not imposing on the island. You're getting the support and recognition that uh, you want for the veterans' uh, support and um, not deterring the uh, flow of traffic in any way. No, I un- and I understood it's it, the, the city liked it because we kept the cars off the grass there. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm, not going, <laughs> I'm not going there. All I'm, I appreciate the, 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 the very... Uh, uh, good uh, oversight that you provided because right. without that, sometimes people get overzealous and start moving them to areas that will cause issues. And we don't right. want that to happen. No, we you know, we do, know the do boundaries. a good job. You guys do a lot. Of, and, you know, the two big days on Memorial Island are Veterans Day and Memorial Day. And, of course, Memorial Day is more of a solemn ceremony. Right. And, and uh, Veterans Day is a celebration. So it uh, kind of adds to the celebration to have that, that uh Lining the roads going in, and, right. and like I said, you all I, it do was, a good job. So. Yeah, it, it, it was a nice, I mean, it really came out nice last year, and I think uh, the people coming up and the veterans coming up saw the outpouring of the community. I think we had 36 signs along that road, and we're hoping to put more this year. Okay. Well, all right. right. Um, the only thing is, would you please um, give us your, your phone number so that we've got a, a, a point of contact. So sure. if there's anything that should arise, we know how to uh, reach you. Fine. My, my cell number is 713-6853. 713-6853. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. But last year I, I went through Rob, um, that, and then you got, then I was called into this one. Now, if I, do I still have to go through Rob? Well, I would, I would just, just right behind you in, in, in the chairs. Okay. <laughs> and, and as the nice thing about coming to the advisory committee is we have the city staff that support us. And so okay. basically you're coordinating with okay. him. And okay. I, would, I would still, out of, out of professional um, courtesy. Uh, courtesy and just good, solid coordination, okay. still sit down with him and, and make sure that there's no – uh, no, you both are on the same sheet of music. Fine. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate your time. Rob Slezak, Record yes, Director. Um, the bottom line is we'll just have Tony write a note like he did last year to the city manager. And I know as conceptually, I think as long as you guys were on board, I think that was the key to the whole thing. I think so, so. Yeah. Good. he'll just write a note like he did last year, a little small note to the city manager, and we'll go from there. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Um, I also see another uh, group of guests. Uh, so, um, Mr. Gomez, you want to come up and. Give me some support. I know. I know. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. And pl- George, George uh, <laughs> please state your name. What is that? Okay, I'm Joe Gomez, commander of the Korean War Veterans Association, Chapter 318. The members of the Korean War Veterans Association of Indian River County, Chapter 318, would like to dedicate a certificate of appreciation to Colonel Anthony Young for the help he did on July 27, 2013 for the 60th anniversary of the signing of the ceasefire armistice of the Korean War in Veterans Memorial Island Sanctuary. We thank him and everyone else who helped us. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. George, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, I just want to say on behalf of the advisory committee, because this Memorial Island was set out 
to recognize the sacrifices for the veterans. And so, you know, as members of the board, you know, it's our privilege to be able to help veterans recognize what they've done elsewhere. And, and I believe that's just exactly what the intent is. And so um, I was looking at the, um, the websites for the Korean War Associations last night, and um, I'm just, I'm really um, pleased that uh, Vero has recognized your service right alongside with the service of Vietnam veterans and the World War II veterans, and, and it's, it's significant. Um, and so, again, thank you. Um, this was uh, appreciated, but totally uh, not necessary. So thank you. Okay. I just want to say congratulations on a good the ceremony. Turned out very nice. More, more people came than we than I was thinking was going to come. Uh, you gentlemen certainly deserve our respect and admiration, and and it was a good day. I think it turned out very nice. So congratulations Absolutely. on it. No, it, and good to see that the country, I noticed on, t- on the news, there was, uh, you know, in Washington and other cities right. recognizing the Korean War veterans as well. So that was good to see. You, you, never, you never want to um, look back and say that uh, you failed to recognize the, uh, the service that um, you and your fellow men provided to our country. It's a lesson that we can't ever not uh, appreciate. So, again, thanks. Um, new business. Mr. Dexter, Don, come on up, please. Good morning, Don Dexter, Public Works. Uh, last month, the uh, Korean War veterans asked about doing some landscaping around their monument at the south end of the island. And you all asked uh, that a plan come back for your review, and you should have that in your packet. Very simple little design, uh, which mirrors the landscaping around the Purple Heart Monument. And it'll be uh, 12 ilex shilling, which are a a small shrub that stays small, and just spaced all the way around it, and a small mulch bed there. And uh, with your approval, we'll go ahead and make that happen. Discussions? Where were you going to put the bench? The bench will go across the sidewalk on the other side. So you're going to sit on the other side of the sidewalk looking directly looking at, at the monument, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And as far as um, the uh, costs associated with the um, landscaping around the monument? Uh, Mr. Gomez said that he would uh, provide the plants for us if we let him know what they uh, wanted, and then we'll install them. Wow. So there's no cost. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, Price is right, and, and uh, certainly it needed a little sprucing up there uh, out uh, right. there on the end. So. And Joe, uh, uh, that's, that's fine. I'll be, uh, you tell me what con to get. Okay. I can, I can I'll, I'll make a copy of this for you. Oh, you did. Oh, that's okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and as far as, far as um, um, putting in the. Um, uh, time frame for uh, doing the landscaping over the next couple months, oh, probably? In, in, probably in the next month. Whenever we can get the plants, it's it's a fairly small project, so okay. it probably would fall in line with the next time the crew is out there doing their normal maintenance work. Okay. Um, very good. No, I think it's outstanding. I mean, the fact that we can get this and, and uh, continue to uh, improve and uh, add more dignity to the island is, is wonderful. Mm-hmm. So. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, The next uh, point of business is the um, discussion of a um, uh, 2014 rec uh, department. Yes. uh, What uh, we wanted to do is just uh, let the uh, committee know that for the 2013 2013 2014 budget which begins october 1 we have proposed that if there is a non-traditional event so not veterans day or memorial day but a non-traditional event that somehow affects our overtime we would ask just to recoup our overtime if needed and then the second thing that we were proposing was if you're if someone wants to have a memorial or something out at the park 
In other words, someone comes to us and then we go through the processing and the paperwork, we're going to be asking for a $75 fee for that. Okay. So those were the two things that we were doing. Okay. And now, as far as recouping uh, overtime costs, uh, kind of explain it, that would be if it's if it's any at all. Okay, if but I mean, like early in the morning or after after work. Is that what you're saying? Right. 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 If there's any, if there's none, then there would be no charge. Okay. So in other words, if we do it during our normal and in okay, so work, working hours. example of of that would be give us an example of if we had uh, an afternoon or evening uh, memorial for one of the services like the Vietnam right to can okay. light vigil for yeah, example right if you have something like that let's mm -hmm. just say the normal working times for our our trades workers the ones that really work those events is in the 7 to 330 range mm -hmm. so if it falls within that there's no no problem whatsoever. Now, what I will say is part of our, our adjustment or reduction is that we're going from three trades workers down to two this next year. And basically, if you can imagine, I've got seven days a week that we're looking out for. So you may only have one guy. So when one has to come in to work, mm -hmm. that's considered overtime. Okay. But so, uh, so 7 to 3.30 is generally the time period. Though. Okay. So if... What are we looking at as far as um, if we, uh, another uh, uh, candlelight vigil uh, ceremony, what would be the anticipated associated costs you're looking at for a person high, for three hours? and High-end, a uh, couple hundred bucks. Okay. And, and that would be for one, a couple individuals for a couple hours? Two, hour, two folks, four hours over time. And you got to remember they set up takedown, and that's it. And what we do for the city is it's it's uh, minimum four hours. Okay. And on the um, uh, the uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day are the are the traditional ones. I guess we're saying uh, there's some other that are of course important, but not don't happen every year. Right. And then um, on um, like if a family wants to have a memorial service for their um, loved one. And no staff is required. They're, would, they're just asking to go out there, but they would still, uh, you would, would still want to. Right. We would ask for a $75 process. And the reason why is we got to come and you guys get those signatures and yes, you sir. name oh, it and okay. then have them fill out paperwork. So. Sure, and there's ex things that happen that they don't realize. Correct. That, uh, okay. Say that again. If somebody comes to the city that wants to put the ashes on the island over there, well, that's that's another thing. Ashes aren't supposed to be put on the island. But, on, the, but, on, but, on the bridge. In the water. On the side of the island. Yeah, yeah. Not on the island, but on, <laughs> on yeah. the good, good, good catch. In the waterway, when they come to the city to to fill out the application to do that, there's, the city's going to have a $75 fee for that? We're going to ask for that. That's one of our proposals. To use the island for memorial right. services. Oh, I don't like it. If you guys don't, you know, again, if you guys say that you don't like that idea, you can say that right now. I understand. But um, the idea was that if we're going to be, you know, staff time going around, running around and get those signatures and things like that, especially when they do it in a situation where you're not having, you just had your meeting mm -hmm. and they need to have it that following, let's just say that following Monday. Mm -hmm. um, but you, if you if you say, yeah. no, nah, we don't really like that idea. You can say that now. I'll just. I would just take that back to the city the, manager and the, let them know. What that. I would now inject something real quick is, it would be helpful for us. I believe is that if a family states that due to their circumstance, whatever, they're limited on ability to address that amount of money. There should be a way that the, the city can, you know, uh, not uh, waive the fee. Yeah, there needs to be a, 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 a latitude there, so that it's not it's not a uh, hard and fast. Would you have a fee waiver form for them to fill out Absolutely. just in case? And, you know, this could be something where if we do get that, that could be as part of the process. Just going to you guys, just saying, hey, look. Yeah, because my, uh, my concern is I don't want any veteran who wants to come to the island to be blocked because of uh, concern for a uh, financial uh, reason. Scenario. Well, and the other thing I can tell you, 
do is these are best. Yeah. And if you as a group right now just say, you know, this is kind of one that we're not, we're okay with the one, but we're not really crazy about that. Tell me now, that's okay. I just say, just say that to the city manager and everybody, you know, this is from the veterans group committee. They don't I, like this concept. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we all wish we all had more money, but this is what's happening with the economy and and the, the island is a wonderful th thing. We don't want it to the community to think of it as a burden. So now there are some people who could afford to make a, a bigger donation than that. So um, it's a good one for you guys. But, and again, yeah. if you guys say, you know, maybe this one should be tabled. Uh, the, the, the consensus that I'm, 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 I'm getting is that there is concern with that um, okay. and that it needs to be looked at. Um, maybe a donation, voluntary donation, as opposed to a fee would be something to examine in that regard. I have a scenario. Uh, my mother's 93 as of Thursday, last. She's a World War II vet. I would be insulted if I was asked to charge a fee. Okay. She served her country. Yeah, okay. So, okay. We, well, uh, and I, what I can do is just, you know, hearing this and, and, right. and seeing that I've got, it, I will just come back with, for now, you know, I'm just going to say that the, the concept is one that's not satisfactory right now to this group. Okay, I think and that's. And I'll let I'll let them. Right. I'll just and then let them know and that. then if if need be you can come back. But no I believe problem. you've kind of gotten the the uh, <coughs> feedback there, um, and um, if you want, I mean it's up to you. I don't I don't think that it's. But I'll, I'll offer it to you is that the that this discussion in regards to. Uh, a donation or a uh, um, a fee um, could uh, be raised with the Veterans Council, or we can just um, table it. From what I'm hearing from the group, it sounds to me like let's just table it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got no problem taking that back and just saying, "Hey, look." Okay. Let's table that. Okay. That's 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 fine by me. Okay. As we think about this in the future, one, one idea might be to tweak the application where families realize that a donation would be accepted. Oftentimes when the Marine Corps League helps a family in a funeral, they send a donation back to the Marine Corps League, and we don't ask for it, of course, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if they donated. So and I think many families would like to do that if they knew about it. So maybe Donations as we think about accepted. this in, in the yeah. future, maybe on the application could be we a little, can easily. A little, Tinker with that, because mm -hmm. okay. we we do need money, right? The city needs. I mean, it's uh, to maintain the island yeah, anyway, and, yeah. and it's a beautiful and island. it's we for the vets. All right, just a thought. Not so necessary. one last, uh, another point, if you could, um, can you provide us just a a sheet basically that that says okay for the non traditional events we're looking for the and then give an example. So that so I can, I can, I can take that and say, okay, to the Veterans Council and say, okay, mm -hmm. and there's no confusion. But I believe that you know, from a non-traditional mm -hmm. event, the cost for overtime is probably not something that's not overly onerous. So, okay, okay. you got. It. I'll make sure I do I that. that. I too. think the only scheduled ones are Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Amen. Right? Right. So, Correct. if an organization came forward that wanted to to uh, uh, put on a uh, or, uh, you know, dedicate a monument or right. have a service, then they would pay for that, I guess. So, so. Yes, yeah, so if it's if, of, uh, outside of the normal operating. Mm -hmm. So the, the point there would be if yeah. you're a um, VFW, whatever, want to have a ceremony, you can have it without the charge if it's during normal operating hours. But when somebody applies to the city, are they going to know the cost of the uh, the fees up front. Oh yeah, I mean that's in other words, we'll be able to, we'll be in the them, we'll be able to talk with them and, and and explain. You know, what time are you looking to have? What are you really looking to have out there? Because they're going to let you know. Do we want right. hundred right. chairs and everything, or is it going to be just simply okay? We just want to do it out at the benches, and we'll be able to figure all that out real quick. And if they do it during normal working hours, no problem. And if there's a little bit extra, we would just charge them a little bit extra. We're not going any. We're not looking to. Stuff our pockets. That's what I'm trying to say. Just basically, just get the reimbursement for the overtime. And that's it. The, and and I I believe just for the uh, advisory council's um, uh, knowledge as we, as we work with the public, 
if we include that as a, an addendum in our in our um, what do you want, guidelines Applic that are there. Yes, that that would be helpful. You know, this is this is what the uh, recreation uh, fees would be for a uh, non-traditional event um, outside of the normal the operating hours. hours. Okay. But I think we also need to add something in there that if something ever happens in the future, another non-traditional event becomes a traditional event due to sure. political or, 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 I don't know, whatever happens in the world, if another uh, ceremony is added to that, you know, through whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that needs to be addressed at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think that would be, you know, for something for the future, no question about it, that this group this group would, of course, take action. I would think they would just take action. I mean, action. if there's a... Yeah, just if there's right a, that, that, right it could be, you don't know what that. the future yeah, has. I mean, if, if there's a consensus to do 4th of July on the island. I don't know. I mean, that's right. just, just an example. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, um, other questions from the group? All right. Rob? Thanks for your input. Thank you. Okay. Um, moving to old business. Um, the recap for the Korean War ceremony... Again, um, I think everybody um, acknowledged that it was a tremendous success. Um, I just wanted to um, make a couple of notes uh, for the future. <laughs> future, I think the uh, the support of the city was awesome. I just want to let Mr. O'Connor know, uh, Captain Curry know. Um, Mr. Falls, Monty, um, Rob, if you look across all of the city elements that contribute to make it a success, uh, Nanette Haynes taking the initiative to have the flags out on the cenotaphs, the city police taking the initiative to put the flags out on the bridge, uh, the initiative there to go ahead and designate additional parking uh, for, uh, for the veterans. Um, one note um, in, in looking back, it, it was hot, <laughs> and, and I under, 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 underscore hot, uh, so maybe uh, we look in the future. If it's during the summer months, we try to do it earlier or later uh, in, in the day. Uh, uh, the good Lord blessed us because we didn't have any of the, uh, the senior uh, veterans uh, uh, drop out from heat exposure. Um, and then another uh, quick note was, uh, thanks for the uh, for the cart, um, and and we probably ought to look at a, a step stool for or a step up for the cart because that was a, a concern totally. for a couple of folks. But uh, no, uh, and again, uh, thank you to the Press Journal. Thank you for the local media. I think without the uh, advanced publicity, uh, we would have had far fewer. Um, and in today's paper, um, there is a. There's an article on page seven that uh, highlights um, the ceremony as well as uh, Michael Hyde, and he adds a special tribute. And so, as a merchant marine, he really contributes to the to the whole op operation. So, anything from the group? No. Okay. Oh, um, and. Uh, Carla Matthews, thank you as well <laughs> oh, yeah. for, 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 for the brochure. Beautiful okay. brochure, absolutely. Uh, and I can't say enough to, for the thanks. Um, okay, moving to the benches for the Korean War Memorial and the Purple Heart Memorial. Uh, Rita uh, provided uh, a, a copy of the motion or the request for expenditure of funds and so, um, Don? We'll be putting those in this month. So uh, they'll be in. We'll pour the concrete slabs and then install the benches. We'll also flip around the one bench, which I think is at DOD. And so it's instead of just facing the mangrove trees, it'll be facing into the island. Okay. While we're All right. out there. So um, we have the money and we're moving forward. Good. Yep. Okay. Well, I tell you, come Veterans Day, that's going to be it. Yeah. Uh, Everything will be picture postcard yeah, perfect there. Yeah. Okay, um, the next uh, point for old business was the update in regards to the military service markers. Don? Um, I, I got a quote from the company who's provided most of our bronze markers out on the island, and they said if we can remove them um, 
And that's what we're not 100% sure about. We're going to experiment with taking some wire behind them because they are epoxied onto those concrete um, um, uh, markers. And uh, if not, I've got a couple names of some local companies, Let's see if they can do uh, a refurbishing on site. But the, uh, the company who does our bronze markers has said if, if we can ship them up there, they'll sandblast them clean, recolor all of the areas that should be the dark brown, and then put a, uh, a, a harder finish on than you typically get uh, on, on your bronzes. So they said normally the, uh, the, the bronze, over time, that lacquer wears off, and you do have that patina, which is what is happening to, uh, to those markers. So that's kind of a normal process of aging, but uh, if we want to spruce them up and get them looking like new again, um, we're going to have to strip them down basically and, and refinish them. Okay. And the cost we were the, looking the, at? The cost uh, to take them off and ship them up, about uh, $900 in round number. And I don't know yet about refinishing in place. Okay. All right. And that's for, we've got six. Six, yes. The Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and DOD. Correct. Okay. All right. If you cannot get those off, any idea of the cost to replace them in case they are damaged when you get them off? Um, I haven't priced that. I would guess somewhere in the five $600 range each. Okay. All right. Probably would damage the concrete more than the bronze, though, to get it off, wouldn't it? I mean, uh, well, yeah, that's what I think. Um, and what you have to do is take a, a cutting wire and get behind them and just kind of cut, try and cut through that epoxy without mm -hmm. the wire riding up onto the bronze. It's it's going to ride to whatever the softer material is. So I'm not sure. Yeah. You control that. <laughs> it, right? it, yeah, this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and I guess if we get to that, uh, if we did, did it like after Veterans Day, we'd have about six months till Memorial Day. I mean, would mm -hmm. that be possible that we could? I, absolutely. I guess, that would be my goal to have this refurbished by uh, by next year for Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. If we can get them done quicker than that, great. Yeah, that's okay. right. Sure. One, uh, one item, and I, I'll go ahead and bring it up at this point, is um, the sign out on the memorial for the mm -hmm. Memorial Island sign itself, uh, looking at it, um, it does need to be updated. Mm -hmm. So, because uh, the Korean War Memorial uh, is not uh, listed on that, N neither is the Vietnam Memorial, correct, uh, or the historical marker for Florida. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, as we're looking forward, uh, could we uh, also okay. look at? Uh, the cost associated with that. Yes, that, that's on our list also. About three hundred dollars to reprint the map and get it remounted. Three, three, four hundred bucks. Oh well, that's that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah the, good, the the frame of the sign still in real good condition, so it would just be a matter of dismantling that, taking the um, um, plexiglass off the front, and you know, mounting the new map up there. So, would it be beneficial for you to have the Approval to proceed with uh, having the sign updated now as you're planning, or do you want to? Uh, I'm. I think we've gotten that approval in the past that uh, we want to have. Okay, but I, I know mean, you have on the agenda the 50th anniversary is coming up next year. So my thought is we want to have Absolutely. everything yeah, uh, yeah, up to snuff I, I was, by then. So I was just concerned as far as if we need to do a request for expenditure of funds. I, I think we can too. find the money for the map in our budget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, and the only thing I'd ask you to do is I've made some notes for the sign here. Um, can you bring that uh, or I'll pass it here and let everybody look at it and, and use that as, as they're basically uh, the changes there. there were okay. And, and I think we may already have that drawn up. So I'll print a copy of what we have and bring that to the next meeting okay. so you can take a look at it. The sundial is kind of near the POW MIA monument. Just, uh, right. What I, what I did is I just took the map that, that the engineering section had mm -hmm. and then used that as the update basis for for the sign out there. I don't know if you had crosswalked those two or not. Do we have a World War One? No. No. It wasn't the sundial put there? I don't know. In place of the World War One memorial? I, I don't remember a World War One memorial. The sundial had always been a feature there and... I thought there was something new about that. Okay. My mistake. 
Why do we not have a World War I? Yeah, war? that was my question. <laughs> what? What? Uh, See what you did? <laughs> well, historically, the way the monuments occur is is a veterans organization comes forward and proposes one, and we right. don't have a lot of World War One guys to <laughs> to do that. But uh, um, I'm surprised it wasn't thought about maybe in the initial when we did the kind of the the you know the main plan. But uh, if you could just look back. I mean, uh, in your records, maybe that okay. was the case. I'm not sure. I, I thought have, that's what the sundial was for, but I could be wrong. Okay. All right. You know, we could, I guess, make a we could black, uh, you know, without discuss putting it. another monument. If, the, if, there's, yeah, if there's not, then we can we come sure. back and next, come and do a next black. month and, mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, and dedicate the, the sundial for mm -hmm. them or, or some other caveat. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the final element on the old business was the uh, disposition of the cenotaph plates. Mm -hmm. Uh, if they haven't taken them already this week, they'll be disposed of at, uh, at a scrapyard, and then we'll get a, a, a receipt for that. We wanted to make sure that we can either observe the markers being destroyed or crack them in half or something just so that they okay. don't show yeah, up someplace. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Tony, did you want that back? Yeah, I'd just pass it to Don. I, I mean, more or less yeah, did. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Good. good deal. All right. <laughs> and and uh, I had, had one other item that yeah. um, uh, wasn't on the agenda. But we were looking at the condition of the colored concrete out there. And since we did the last project about three years ago, uh, the seal has started to wear on some of that. And they recommend about every three to five years resealing that. Um, we're, we had gotten a quote from the company who installed that uh, material and um, to reseal it. And so we're going to try and get that done in this fiscal year. So before October 1st, we'll reseal the concrete. And we have money set aside in the budget to do that. Okay. Now, as far as what's the implications, you just close off the island while, while it's the work yes. is being done, mm -hmm. and then how long does it take to cure? Is uh, just a, a day. A day, okay. Mm -hmm. What they'll do is they'll go in and they'll pressure clean uh, a section at a time. Okay. Probably they'll start the interior of their island and work their way out. And, um, and so for a couple days... Um, I think what they did last time, Rob, do you remember when they built it? I think they did half of the walkway at one shot and then the other half so people could still walk out there unless they were pressure cleaning or, or applying the sealer. Okay. The only, the only other area under your purview that, that was brought to my attention is, is that, do we have or what latitude do we have to, in regards to maintaining the visibility of the river, you know, it, because as, as the vegetation on the eastern side grows up, we had talked about maybe some cutouts for the far, for the, for the, okay, the western side is what you want to have to be able to look out on the river. Mm -hmm. The eastern side, we were going to have the cutouts. Is there, is there latitude to keep the mangroves uh, shorter on the western side so you can see the river? There is, and that's what we, we met with DEP out there a, couple, a few months ago, and we're, uh, working on putting a plan together to uh, to maintain that. Once the mangroves start, um, you can relocate them, but you have to have a spot to relocate them to um, under a permit. And so we're looking at uh, at the possibility of that. Okay. And and the non mangrove things, basically, you can trim. We can. Yes, okay. and we have. Okay. All right. So okay. The, the goal was, and, and we reviewed this uh, a couple months ago, was to have a, at each of the benches about a 100-foot area that right. we would uh, either keep the mangroves trimmed down to mm -hmm. uh, the permitted height, or, uh, and I think along the west side we can do that, uh, or in a few spots where the mangroves have started seeding up high uh, in the rocks, um, pull those up and relocate them to areas where there's no benches and then allow them to, you know, uh, to grow there. And, yeah. I, I'm, it's just in the areas that we're, where you have, where you'd like to be able to meditate and look out over the water to, to keep those in check and be able to maintain that, uh, that beauty of the island. And then we already discussed the fact that the buffer on the western, on the eastern side, eastern side by the ramp is what desirable because yes. it, it, it blocks the sound and, and the commotion. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, okay. Um, under Chairman's Matters, the trifold, um, I um, do not have an update to show you. It is in the works. Uh, the, the Veterans Council has said that they would pay for that. It's just a matter of getting that 
um, uh, forward, and, and that's still in work. Um, the uh, Iraq-Afghan War Memorial um, of note there is that will be a Veterans Council uh, initiative, um, and, and um, my understanding is it's likely that that will be one way to engage the new veterans to, uh, uh, to be a part of the, of the council. And so once that's developed, um, then it can be brought to us in orderly fashion. And we have, what, two spots open on the island for memorials? Um, Don? Don, was there uh, one or two? There, I know there's one for sure. There might be a, a couple. I'd have to pull out the old plan and look. Okay. Yeah, we'd have to. And that might be something to grab that plan and, and see what is available. So. Uh, we can proactively say to the council, this is likely areas that could be used if it's wanted. Yeah, I think, wasn't one of them down by the Korean War Memorial? Yes. West of that? Brother, exactly. Kind of that southwest corner. Southwest corner, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Um, and then the um, Veterans Memorial Island uh, 50th anniversary. Um, I would just ask the the, the, the the council to you know give give this continued thought where what ideas that we'd like to to look at um, potential um, folks that we should include as far as those that have been a part of the island uh, since the inception. Um, it's the plan to have um, a Veterans Day. We just kind of expand to include this, or a no? This is, this will be in, in May, so it'll be Memorial Day. I'm uh, um, sorry, Memorial Day. So it would would wouldn't be a separate ceremony for the 50th anniversary, but maybe just have the keynote speaker and people like Amelie Loy and others that that have been involved with it be part of that ceremony or a well, separate I, ceremony. I, well, I, I would one option would be just to expand the that ceremony in May. Mm -hmm. I think probably. As we look at the other events that are going to be generated next May, there's a lot of other items citywide, countywide. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best just to keep it on that day. Mm -hmm. And then the question is, you know, how elaborate would we like to have? I mean, would there be a, you know, I don't know if there's a potential that we could get a, an, a, uh, an, a National Guard or a, or a, active element to come down and provide a, a platoon of, of folks to, mm -hmm. to, to do a, a formal pass and review mm -hmm. on, on that day and then incorporate multiple, um, um, I believe the multiple faiths initially that was included at the, in the founding of the island uh, from Felsmere, Sebastian, and Vero uh, for their dedications. And then, um, um, of course, the originals uh, that were a part of that founding. So, the, I guess the you know the purpose of Memorial Day is to honor those that died in the service of our country, and really the purpose of the island is. Amen. And so, the theme, I mean, the theme wouldn't change, but you know the the cover on the program, and I think the Navy Band has been down before, and some others. Uh, and so maybe I don't know. No, I mean, and, and and I think that's the type of uh, thinking that would be appropriate is to, is to provide for um, a uh, really uh, um, maybe a, a a small parade mm -hmm. across from from Riverside Park at the um, at the gazebos onto the island as uh, happened earlier in the. Um, Years of our our city, um, and and then have uh, it could actually be hosted, and and it would depend on the logistics, but potentially it could be out on the on the parade field there. Mm -hmm. I'm not so. Uh, and again, I want to begin our uh, uh, examination now, so that uh, we can we can rough out a, a uh, concept by. This is August, September, October, and then uh, look at the feasibilities. Government. I guess, of course, the, uh, so, for the community's benefit, really, the Veterans Council puts on those, but although we're involved in that right, as well. Right, but, uh, exactly. I'm sure there are some plans that they're, they're going to have on the floor of the meeting to, today and in the future. For, 
And I'm sure you'll probably have good to do. other public input about that, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. From such folks as like Judy. I'm sure, Judy, if you're listening, uh -huh. here's yeah. a perfect place for an input. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a call. And, yeah. and, and, and That's for sure. Anybody that have any inputs of what they'd like to see, like the gentleman that had the signs here that mm -hmm. they put on by the island, some nice big signs like that of the old pictures of the island. You know, of what it was over the years and what it is uh, become. Maybe the progression of. Yes. Yeah, I think that would, you know, be something nice. But I'm sure you have a lot of folks that have lived in the community for a long time will probably have some good suggestions or ideas about that. Okay. Um, one one final bullet, and, and I'll, I'll uh, ask for the members' input, is um, as we uh, reviewed the Korean ceremony, I think we missed an opportunity, um, and, and that is um, these are moments in time and individuals that are um, special. And so maybe we should look at, uh, as events come, making a recommendation to those that are holding the events to have it um, filmed or photographed uh, for... Uh, for a city record or archival record because um, today, you know, a, a videotape and posting it to YouTube of the ceremony on uh, the 27th of July for the Korean War vets uh, would serve uh, the city because I can't think of better uh, publicity for a, for a place than to have recognition of their vets. And if we want support, continued support for the island, which we do, uh, getting the word out what's being accomplished there is, is part of that. So um, maybe um, we can look at that, too. So. All right. Okay. Members Matters. Barb? I have nothing at this okay. time. John? I don't have anything else. No. Joel? No, nothing really uh, much either. Okay, very good. So we pretty much covered it. All? I think we've uh, covered it, except for, and I'm Amelie's not here to keep me out of harm's way, and I appreciate that. Is we have um, three letters that were provided to the advisory committee, um, and um, we will look at these, and they're from um, Mr. Richard J. Martin. And um, one regards research that was uh, related uh, to um, the events at uh, the Naval Air, Sa Air Station and um, the aircraft that were a part of that. The second one was a, uh, related to the 74th anniversary of the Battle of Midway and, um, and information supporting that that was published in July. And then the third speaks of the um, Orchid Island Bermuda Trail Chronicles. So um, um, I would just say that uh, for Mr. Martin, we'll, we will take those in and, and, and look at them and um, basically um, address those at the, uh, at the next meeting. Okay. The um, final note in regards to the, um, what do you want to call it, finances, uh, were included in the um, uh, minutes, and it made note of a uh, charge of 3150 for uh, the lettering. Don, is that is that for the um, um, plaques that we had done? I believe it is. I, I just need to have confirmation. Do you see what I'm speaking about? What page are you on? This is the um, uh, financial reports from the city clerk's office. For, I don't think you got a copy of that. I didn't get a copy. You didn't? Um, let me ask you to step up here. Judy, uh, well, there was two donations, one from... General Malloy, thank you, and also from the Korean War Association, and then a charge. That was for the granite markers. Okay, very good. All right. That's all I have. If I have no other business, uh, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.